And now, America's favorite hunting couple, Ralph and Vicki C. and Cerullo. This week on The Archer's Choice, we are back boo hunting in the rut with Mirage Outfitters. Is this? This was unbelievable. Just like we said last week, to actually see these bull caribou rutting, chasing after the cows, <sighs> making all these noises that you can't imagine that these animals even no. make. Because when we hunt them in September and August, it's they don't make noise. No, and, and, and well, you, you hear you hear the clicking on their ankles, and that's about it. And you know what's wild is, well, you don't deal with the bugs. Right. Right. Yes, fishing season's over. Right. You could and have bad weather, but we got really lucky with we ours. We did get real lucky with the weather. Yeah. But more than anything is, it, for for any of you who have ever caribou hunted, I'm going to tell you something. When you Peter Palmer's been pushing this, this this rut hunt, and he's been and we finally did it. And I've got to tell you, it totally. It, it just wipes you out. I mean, to see these animals in the, in, in the amount and the mass of them and everything and just, woo, rotten well, well, caribou. In, instead of continuing talking, yeah, let, getting... let's get out of here. Let's get into the footage, shall we? Let's do it. Right there. No, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oui. Oui. Is Ben with them? Ben, uh, Pierre, Pierre went on with them. Or Pierre? On their session. Because he said he was tired of y'all trying to tell him how to bow hunt. He's been up here a long time. Tired of y'all. He don't need no Maristep Cortex boy. Boy. Telling him how to bow hunt. We're just saying I'm just telling you what he said, yeah. We ain't talking don't, about don't you. Don't kill the messenger. You know, we got here about three days ago and it feels like a month I've shared with these guys. I just can't handle it anymore. I'm gonna, when we get about, you know, maybe four or 5,000 feet, I'm jumping. Just keep that camera rolling. Just... I don't think you I'll jump. me, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm close to the door, you may good. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Hey, could you hurry up? My hunt is still going on. Come on, let's go. Let's get back to my hunt. Does this bother you?
a good shot. It's a good shot. It's a good shot. right over here. It didn't go through. Did you see that bulb? Well, we were set up here. The shots are going to be too far out with the wind. So we, I climbed up to that boulder. Ralph stayed here. What you know it as soon as I moved. The bulls come right around this tree behind Ralph every which way and I was just surrounded by him and this one's coming and Ralph wanted me to come on this side of the boulder because he wasn't sure if he was going to get the shot if I stayed up there so I was stuck I couldn't move we had booze all over us and then this one I kept pointing at him pointing at him and he come where I'm standing to the camera right now he wasn't five feet from Ralph oh there's more caribou right there my shot wasn't ten yards he come looked at Ralph walked stopped looked the opposite direction of me I took my shot he went running. I saw him running off. He's got to be down right over there. It was a great shot on the back. Caribou, the rut. And Vicky's got her Hoyt. Let's check it out. I know my arrow fell out right over here, and actually I kind of think I see it there. I think it broke in half, actually, when he went running. There it is. Broke my Beeman Max. My Black Max. Now, if I remember, he should have went... Running, well, we'll follow the trail. There he is. Come on, Luke. What a bull. <laughs> Look at him. Ho, ho, ho. Whoa. Look at him. I'm telling you, you know what? He's bigger than Ralph's. Come here. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at him. He's got double shovels. Look at the tops the on him. Finger. The left point is good. Oh, oh. oh. look at those. I think you, are, you are the best. Oh, thank you, Luke. I appreciate that. <laughs> you are the best for the hunt. <laughs> oh, he is beautiful. Yeah. Look you at how don't white know. his cape is. You don't know how much that hurt. That hurt so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going right by these pines. Today's tech tip is keeping a log of your bow specs. There are a few key measurements to keep your bow in tune. First is your brace height. That's the measurement of your throat of your grip to your string. Your knocking point height. The distance of your knock to your peep. Your draw weight and your draw length. These are key items to keep your bow in tune. That's your tech tip of the day.
Belong a, a little far, far back, a little back, a little bit. We are covered up with caribou. They, it's just unbelievable. This is the first day that we actually can tell you we are hunting the rut hunt here at Mirage, and it's a trophy hunt. When they say that, you know, that there's bigger bulls coming through on the migration. We have been dealt with unbelievably mild weather. To say hot weather probably be even better. Today is the first cool overcast. I can't tell you enough. Luke, Peter, Mirage, our guide Pierre sitting here patiently going, what are they doing? <laughs> oh boy. It's done. It's done. Unbelievable. Let's go recover the bull. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now let's continue on with Ralph's hunt. Uh, here's the arrow. Beaming Max 4. The new NAP crossfire. And our quick spins. Oh, 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 look at it, right here, right here. There he is. <laughs> he didn't go. Well, I bet you he still did cover about, about 80 yards or more. <sighs> Holy smokes. Look at the size of that bull. You know, we've said it before, we'll say it again. We're up here at Mirage Outfitters, and I have to tell you, you talk about an unbelievable adventure. We were blessed because this the weather has held out. <sighs> David, Johnny Tate from Real Tree, they're, they're up about maybe two miles away. And what an incredible hunt. Un oh, here comes Luke. Luke! Pierre! <laughs> huh? Hi. <laughs> On, a good shot. Oh, buddy. It's very nice. You have an incredible play. Oh. Pierre, huh? Incredible. Congratulations, Ron. Incredible. Look very at this, nice. guys. Oh, yeah. Look oh, at yeah. the tops. Oh, he's nice. He's very yeah. nice. Oh, yeah, very, huh? Very, I'm telling very, you what. Very nice bull. You know, yeah. we've. <laughs> oh, good, thank you. Good, good. You know, we've hunted Quebec a lot, buddy, and I have to tell you that. You might have topped it all. Thank yeah. you very much. Unbelievable. That was a lot of fun up oh, there. And caribou you, with Mirage and Peter Palmer, yeah, Luke. And, I mean, just. And did you see the size of my bull? Wasn't he? You know, beautiful? I just he really would like to thank Mirage Outfitters and, he had and great tops Peter Palmer and, and Luke and, and, and you know, I'd like and, to and, and you know Johnny what? Tate and David Blanton and for sharing that adventure with us and, hey, did I and mention Russ and it was George bigger. Bullseye. You know, putting us all together. Yeah, but it was bigger than Tourism. But mine was bigger than yours. Vicky, we're closing. We don't need to mention any of oh, that. Oh, yes, we do. It's not really that important. You oh, know, it's, yes, it is. It's not because, you know, it's just... It's, it's just what? I shot a bigger bull than him, and that's the way it happens. Remember, join us next week, same time, same channel, right here on The Archer's Choice. Maybe without Ralph. We'll see. I'll see if I let him out. <laughs>